What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Fuerte Styling Cream. Actually, one of my subscribers recommended this product to me. So I reached out to Fuerte's directly and they were kind enough to send me their product. So thank you Fuerte's for sending this product out. And today I'm going to do the video a little bit differently. So I'm going to actually unbox the package on camera because I don't know. I think a lot of people really like unboxings and it's kind of therapeutic to actually watch someone unbox something. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to give you my first impressions and then I'm going to cue the intro and then it's going to be like a week or so after I've been testing it out, kind of playing with it and then give you my honest feedback about the product. So if you guys like this type of review, you know, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment saying that you enjoy it. So I know because I'm trying to just I'm adjusting making videos based on like kind of what my subscribers want to see. So if you're a subscriber, you know, please leave a comment saying that you like enjoy this or you don't enjoy it or like give me some feedback so I can, you know, make adjustments accordingly. So unboxing it, this is kind of what I got. Some bubble wrap, just a box, pretty, pretty generic. This is the container. As soon as I see it, it reminds me of Morris Motley because Morris Motley, the original, I don't know if they still do the all blackout, but this is what it kind of looked like, the black top white container uh, it says forte styling cream on it sweet orange and lavender scent comes in a three ounce jar matte finish strong hold ingredients just looking at it firsthand there's not many ingredients in this which is kind of surprising a lot of hair products have a lot of ingredients in it and i kind of applaud fuertes on that because less ingredients and more Ingredients that we actually understand as consumers is I think better. So yeah, firsthand, let me open it. I can, Jesus. Ah, there we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, I've never seen this before. It's actually like sealed up and I've never seen that before. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's definitely sweet orange lavender. They got it on par. It's actually this kind of cool, like, color. I really like that a lot. I'm gonna scoop it out just for testing. Oh, it's kind of little. It's a little hard actually. Maybe because it just I just got here. Maybe if I let it warm up a little bit, um, it'll be a little softer. But first impressions: the scent and the sm scent is amazing. The packaging is pretty good. I wish it was printed on here. It's actually a little uh, plastic like label that I slapped on here. I wish it was actually printed on here, but you can't win it all. But overall, I think it's pretty dope. I'm interested in testing it out, seeing how it works, test it out for about a week or so, come back with my full honest review. So if you guys enjoyed this type of review, this unboxing, please leave a comment. I said it like three times, leave a comment, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate every one of you guys. Thank you so much. Cue the intro. All right, y'all, so as you guys can see, I'm like in a different environment. I'm actually in my basement instead of my room for once because I don't know about you guys, but I have like this one light in the back that's like a white light, and I just feel like it throws off the entire video. So I'm trying to different like space in my house. Let me know in the comments if you think this is like better lighting and stuff. So, and if it is, then I'll just keep recording down here. But like I said before, I was testing this for about a week. I got to just put it through my hair for a week, test it out, kind of get a feel for the product before I actually give my final thoughts and review. And so when I first got it, I thought the, like the, when, when it was poured and you get that top layer, it was kind of hard to scoop out. And then as you can see, I've actually used it a little bit and I've, I've kind of noticed it kind of like did loosen up a little bit. It, it, it did become a little bit softer, but it kind of reminds me of the Arcadian matte paste a lot because the matte paste is a little stiffer um, to scoop out than the Arcadian clay pomade, but it is uh, pretty semi easy to scoop out of the jar. Um, the scents, like I said before, orange, lavender smells great. And I, I think a lot of people have been comparing this to the Morris Motley, which is kind of, after I use this for a little bit, I kind of disagree. It's not even like really the same thing besides the fact that the jar looks the same. I think that this has a little bit stronger hold. I don't think it is a matte finish like it says. It says matte finish on here, but it kind of gives it more of a natural finish. 
I think a lot of companies are saying matte finish on their product because like during this time period, like matte finish seems to be like the most hype and like the most sought after look for, out of guys specifically. So a lot of companies are just, if it is, if it doesn't change the, the shine of your hair at all and it just stays neutral, people are like kind of marketing it towards matte finish. I don't know if that's like the intention of this product, but that's just the way I feel. I did put the super skinny serum in my hair and I did blow dry because I'm going to put it through my hair and kind of show you guys what I see. And uh, then you guys can kind of get a feeling of what it looks like. But before I do that, yeah, it smells, it smells great. Before I do that, I just wanted to say like, in terms of this comparing it to Morris Motley, Morris Motley is literally effortless and like it feels like a pillow or like a cloud when you scoop it out. It's just so soft, so buttery, breaks down easy, and it goes through hair like, 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 a, like butter, like literally like butter. But this, um, it does go through my hair pretty easily. I have thick hair, um, but I can do. I can definitely feel some grip when I put it through. So I, I can already tell that this product has definitely more hold than Morris Motley does. Even though Morris Motley does have a pretty good hold for what it is, um, I think in terms of scents, this has like a fruity-ish scent, like or, uh, orange and lavender and Morris Motley. I don't even know what the scent is, but it smells like pretty fruity and like almost like double bubble gum, like that little those little small pieces you got when you were younger. Um, that's kind of what it smells like. But I would kind of say this is more similar to the Arcadian Matte Paste in terms of the actual product inside the jar, because of the way it scoops out, the way it breaks down, and the, what, it, how it kind of like goes through the hair. So I'm actually gonna do that and then I'm gonna show you kind of what it looks like. Uh, I'm gonna take a little scoop out like this. As you can see, like I'm, I'm actually putting a little bit of pressure and it's kind of like a little difficult to get out. And I got like this much out. I'm gonna start with this much and if I need to, I'll add a little bit more. I'm gonna break it down through my hands. It breaks down in my hand pretty easily. You can see that, it's pretty creamy. Um, but. I do get a little bit of resistance when I rub it through my hands. I can feel it heating up in my hands, definitely. But like the, the breakdown, and it turns pretty clear in my hands. Now I'm gonna start from the back, work my way forward. Like I always say, like don't even look at yourself when you put it through because then you'll like try to sculpt before you actually get the product in there and then it doesn't end up looking the best because you tried to sculpt before you actually put the product through your hair. And Try to get the most of it through. Don't really start putting it through your bangs or like the front of your hair first because you really don't need that much in the front of the hair unless you're doing like a quiff or something. You don't need that much because you don't want to weigh it down with too much product. But you can already tell like, before I even style, you can already see the texture in the hair. Like it does keep create awesome texture. It smells, it does smell great. It's like one of the best smelling products I've definitely used. I'm we'll start sculpting now. Um, and like I said in like my other videos, I don't like putting too much product in my hair. Um, I like enough to get like a lot of texture and enough to hold my hair like to a semi extent, but like no product's really gonna hold your hair in like the perfect position all day. It's just like not realistic at all out of a product. Honestly, I think that's good enough. I took like a small scoop out of here. I could use a little bit more if I wanted a little bit more hold, but I mean, for the for the sake of the video, I don't think any more would add any more texture or anything significant where it would change the alteration of how I think of the product. But you can see, you can already see, I always finger comb. You can already see the texture. And you can kind of see a slight shine, like I was saying. Not like a, not like a shine shine, but like more like a natural finish. Like my hair was like, when I, after you wash it in, in, the, in the shower and then you blow dry, and I use a skinny serum, so I, have a na I had a natural finish in my hair to start with. This didn't add anything, to, any shine to it, and it didn't like reduce any of the shine. So there's like two different types of mats. There's like a mat that they say is like a natural finish, and then there's a mat that's like a little bit more drier, and it kind of looks, it makes your hair a little bit more coarse. And uh, that's more like the matte, I think, that people are trying to think of when they think of a product is like that drier look. But this is like more matte in, in the sense that it doesn't add any shine and it doesn't reduce any shine out of your hair. But it does give good texture. So like, if I was gonna compare it to like more Smiley and or the matte paste, I think it's a combination of the two. So what they did is like, they took like a, like a nice fruity scent. The, the jar looks like, 
Morris Motley. But the breakdown and like the scoopability of the product is more like the matte paste from Arcadian, which is like a little bit of a thicker, like harder consistency. I think it's probably because of, let's see what's in here. Oh, definitely the beeswax. It's the first thing on here. And just reading through this, I don't even see, I don't even see water in this. So this is definitely not a water-based product. It is, uh, it's a wax base, so obviously because it's the, fir the first ingredients, white beeswax. So it's definitely, it definitely doesn't wash out um, on the first try. But I mean, like if I, uh, I mean, if you're looking for, if you're someone that's like, uh, likes the second day effect of like, you know, being able to wash your hair and have a little bit of product in your hair, and then you can like still like kind of sculpt your hair with the product already in there from the day before, then this could be it. But like, I'm not a personal fan of. Uh, non-water-based products because I just like it to style my hair for the day, you know, shower, and then every, my hair be completely clean and with no product in it. So, yeah, I think that's, I covered everything with this review. Um, if you're looking for something, it comes in a three ounce jar, a little bit less than Morris Molly, and it's about, I think retails for, for about 30 bucks. So if you're looking, if, if Morris Motley was like one of your top choices, but you wanted something with a little bit more hold, even maybe a little bit more texture, then this product could be for you. Um, it does pretty much compare with the matte paste. I think personally, I think you get a little bit more out of the matte paste just because it is a four ounce jar and you get it for like $16.95 or whatever. Um, so, I mean, if money's not an issue, then, and you're looking for something that's more smiley like, but just a little bit more hold, a little bit more texture, then this could be it. It is, you are sacrificing the ability to scoop it out of the jar and break it down really easily. But, I mean, you give in, you get a little bit. So, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I actually got this product because one of my subscribers. Um, I'm gonna shout him out again, Henry Huang. I don't know if I pronounced it right, I hope I did. Uh, he you know, commented saying, yo, you should check out this product, so I did, and now we're here. So if you have any suggestions at all, please leave a question, or leave it below in the comment section. If you, have, if you just wanna stop by and say, hey, what's up? Definitely do that as well. And if you're brand new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We've been growing like crazy, like, like bananas crazy like seriously it's like i had like 118 subscribers like a week a week and a half ago and now we're at 131 it's absolutely bananas so i appreciate every single one of you i'm gonna keep making reviews so if you guys have any suggestions at all it doesn't have to even be hair product i'll review like literally anything i just happen to have a lot of hair products and it's just something i've done over the years so i've had hair products and i've done a lot of research in it so it's like why not just do the products that i have you know so if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. I will definitely answer your questions. I love reading comments and I love responding back. So mad love for all y'all. Have a good night. It is pretty light late here. I, I I typically record at night just because like I, I freshly shower. It's like easier. I don't know. <laughs> all right. I'm rambling now. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.